Scott, what a night that was. You look absolutely shattered. 2-0 uh, win in the replay against Ebsfleet. How happy are you? Yeah, I just said to a few guys that the best way to do it for us is that you go away, you draw, you bring them back to your home place um, and win at home in front of your, in front of your fans. And um, yeah, it's a special, special night. I think everyone when they saw the draw was saying it's not a great draw. Um, but for me, I believed in us. Um, I thought going to Ebsfleet was going to be tough and obviously getting in front of the, in the game twice um, was brilliant, but didn't manage to hold on. And then tonight we went with a shape um, that was either brave or stupid. And yeah, tonight it's paid off. I thought the boys were absolutely outstanding. Um, the fans were absolutely outstanding. Um, just so pleased for everyone at the club. Um, delighted for the boys that they get to play against the Football League side at home. Um, doesn't happen often. Um, hopefully it'll be a day that the fans can enjoy. Um, got absolutely nothing to lose, have we? So I think when we've got uh, no fear in us, we're a good side. Um, when we show the energy that we showed tonight, every single person that went out onto that pitch, every single person that was in the dugout, every person in the stand, um, it just shows uh, what it meant to the club tonight. And I thought that shone through. I thought we wanted it more than them. Um, and I don't think anyone in the ground can deny that. I don't think I can pick anyone out if I'm being honest with you, but there was a number of fans around me highlighting the performances of both Matt Lynch, the man of the match this evening, and Manash Sundiri. What, what, what do you yeah. think of those two again? I actually highlighted them two at half-time because when you're playing in central midfield with them, you see the work that they get through and they were absolutely phenomenal. Um, I thought Nashi and Lynch, the, work, Lynch, the work they got through, when you see them covering every blade of grass or Astro, um, they were absolutely brilliant and they didn't give the absolute midfielders a second on the ball. Um, but it wasn't just about them two. We played away tonight that... We played against Western, uh, where we went three up top, slap bang down the middle. Um, we said we're not going to try and play too much football, we're just going to put them under pressure. And yeah, I don't think they dealt with us all night. Um, I don't think they created too much. I thought we could have won by five or six if we'd have been a bit neater in the final third. And that's a performance that I'm extremely proud of. Um, I've not been a manager for a long time, but that's the most special one for me. Um, means the absolute world to help the club get into the first round because I know how hard people work um, upstairs behind the scenes. And I'm just delighted that um, a little bit more income uh, for the football club because I know what it does uh, to a club like ours. And I think for the fans, we've probably um, not got through many rounds in the last few years. Um, so it's great to be able to bring um, a football league club like Grimsby down. And how delighted are you after the weekend? Rowan gets his clean sheet as well. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those where I think he's got... Uh, six clean sheets in nine now, which is um, an unbelievable return. You don't often get that. I think it set the tone tonight from the first corner that he's come out and punched it. Um, he could have he could have completely uh, crumbled tonight, but he didn't. For a 21-year-old keeper, I thought he showed real bravery, um, real confidence and a bit of steel, um, and I'm really proud of him. Um, it's really difficult as a young player when... I don't want to put him down as mistakes um, because... There, I think there was a little bit of jostling in the box and it made it difficult for him. But I think he wanted to do better on those occasions on Saturday and he didn't. Um, but yeah, listen, Rowan's a massive part of us at the moment. Um, he's kept us in the, in the game at Salisbury and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. So um, there's no blame on our part towards him. Um, it's a collective, it's a team thing. And we needed to dig him out tonight and help him out. And I thought the back four especially, but it started from the front. The work rate was ridiculous. I've never played in a performance like that. Um, well, for many years, I just thought everyone was so disciplined and the work that the boys got through, um, yeah, it shocked me, to be honest. I think they've put in the biggest shift I've seen in a long, long time. Um, and I'm just extremely proud. I'm quite emotional. So, yeah, just a really good night overall. And two excellent strikes as well to win it. Josh Chapman with the first one and then Matt Lynch. I think a lot of people were asking him to shift it to his right. But I think as soon as you see Matt on the ball, you know what's coming next. So Yeah, he said that, um, well, going back to Josh's one, I think David's done brilliantly. Um, he's a special player at times, David. He skips past people like they're not there. I wouldn't want to play against him myself. Um, and then Josh is obviously cut in and great finish. And then Lynch, he's shown real energy to get up the pitch, win the second ball, drive forward and then have a shot. I think he's gone around the outside of the defender um, so the keeper's not sighted and it's a great finish. I think, for me, the special part was the, the noise um, with both goals. It felt like the slough of old on a Tuesday night. There's no better place to be. Um, and I said that to the lads after the game. I said it to Yellow and Chrissy at half-time that I'm desperate to get over the line because I don't think Chrissy and Yellow have seen what it's like on a Tuesday night here. Uh, when you get the atmosphere, um, it's always better at night. And I'm just delighted that they've seen um, how good it can be on a Tuesday. Um, yeah, just a brilliant night overall. And finally then, you've already mentioned it, but Grimsby Town now in the next round, in the first round proper, 
what are your thoughts now heading to that game? Yeah, bring it on. Um, League two side, they should be coming here expecting to win, but they'll probably be moaning about the plastic pitch. No one likes to play on it. Um, having been a full-time footballer myself back in the day, um, people used to say, oh no, plastic pitch, AstroTurf, don't want to play on that. They'll probably have players that can't play on it because uh, of injuries that they've had in previous years. So. Yeah, listen, we'll give it a right go. Um, it won't be an easy game for Grimsby, I'm sure, um, if we can play like we did tonight with the tempo. I always say that what combats ability is hard work, and that's exactly what we did tonight. Um, Ebbsfleet are a brilliant side, there's no doubt about it. Um, they won our league so easily last year. I thought they were miles ahead of everyone else. Um, but when you work as hard as we did tonight, um, it's really, really difficult to play against. And just so, so proud of everyone at the football club. Every single person that came to watch tonight that supported us. I'm extremely grateful. I was at just under 800 on Tuesday night when England were on. Um, could have been easy to stay at home, but they got us across the line. And um, yeah, I don't know if I'll sleep tonight. I'll be smiling all night uh, until we get back in on Thursday and then prepare for Chelmsford. Cheers, Scott, and congratulations again. Cheers, Scott, thanks.